Hey guys, what is up? And today is going to be part 5 of the Batch game series. Now, what we're going to be covering today is making EXP more relevant in gameplay. As of right now, EXP doesn't even really serve that much of a role, it's just a number floating out there, and that's not what we want. So, in this case, attack stats, which is what we're going to be covering today, it doesn't, the gameplay or the attack stats don't change if you're EXP level 1 or EXP level 100. Now, the first thing we're going to do in order to change this is make a remark for EXP attack stats and then we're just going to set attack to equal zero. Let me have the C there, proper grammar folks. But you might be having a major WTF moment. Why are we introducing another variable in here? I'll explain a little bit later on in the tutorial. I'm just going to scroll down to AK and I'm just going to say set slash a attack equals random and that random will be set from 1 to 39 so I'm just going to say star 39 slash 32,768 then I'm going to say plus 1 now this is saying the high end of the random range, so 39. The plus one is where we want to begin, and we cannot make it start at, let's say, seven. It has to be from one. And don't really worry about the 32,768. That's just a number for batch to understand and execute this command. And why are we using this for our range setter compared to this it's selection of code? Now, this, if we used it for all of our attacks, including the mon attack, it would kind of get screwed up and actually add HP rather than subtract. So you would be in the negatives, not the positives, which is what we don't want. So we are going to have to change it to this. And I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to say set slash A attack equals attack plus EXP. And finally, I'm going to say set slash a mon HP equals mon HP minus attack. Now, we're essentially going to be adding the string of code to all of our user attacks. So I'm just going to put an annotation for you guys to skip to where we cover the mon HP side of things. But if you want, just stick around. So I'm just going to get rid of that for now and just paste that and let's just make that 42 and just check that over. Same thing here, get rid of this line and we're just going to set this max to 17. Same thing for kick, gun and sword, get rid of that line. We'll set this to 22. Same thing here. And we'll set this to 28. And finally, for sword, we're just going to do the exact same thing. And we'll set this to 24. Okay guys, um, for those of you who skip to this part, we are covering mod attack. And for those of you who stick around, again, we're covering mod attack. So I'm just gonna paste that. And we're just going to make that mod exp. And we're just going to get rid of mod hp and make it hp. And I'm just going to get rid of that line of code and that's that now one other thing we also have to keep in mind here guys is that we're gonna have to change our go-to markers for gun 
or our go to mon attack to space and then go to mon attack. Now the reason why is that if we just go directly to mon attack, for some reason we get weird missing operands and weird error notification messages. So obviously we don't want that. So I'm just going to make a new marker called space. I'm just going to say go to mon attack. And now we're just going to change all these go to markers to space. Now, again, I will put an annotation for you guys to skip over this part. If you want, you can stay. Now, let's just make that space. 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 Space and space. Now that we are finished changing our markers from from go to mon attack to go to space, now this is the perfect time to explain what on earth does all this code mean. So this is kind of similar before. So we're just setting attack to random from in this case for AK one thirty nine. So let's just say it's 17. Now what this line is saying, whatever this may attack may be, this randomized string of codes. So again, 17, add what our exp is. So let's just say exp is one. Now what this line is essentially saying is take our mon HP, let's say it's a hundred, whatever this line was equal to so let's say it's 17 plus 1 it's 18 attack is equal to 18 subtract that so that is essentially the gist of the code now in order to prove to you guys that this works i am just going to say echo attack right in between there say pause and do the exact same thing here set pause now let's just save that and open up our batch file. So I'm just going to say I'm a new user, coders cuts of course, go to battle, and let's just punch. So punch, 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 punch. Okay, so we see that works. Now let's just go to shop, buy an AK, so we can actually see what's going on. So AK, so this initial attack right here. The string code right here was 21 and when we hit enter again it becomes 22 since 1 exp is added and because our exp is equal to 1 let's just go back down and as you can see monster hp went down by 22 and let's just finish out this game and we lost now that is going to be the fifth batch game series tutorial please make sure to rate like and subscribe thank you for watching